Hey guys, welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to implement Facebook login authentication into your Flutter application. So first, let's go ahead and see how it works and then I will show you how to implement them step by step from scratch. Here we go, I will check if the user is logged in. Then it will display the user information, otherwise it will redirect into the login page. So in here I will provide my Facebook email and password. After giving my password it will say would you like to continue this is our app name and this is the app icon which we can change. I will say continue then it will redirect us back to the application. Here we go we have our username, email, profile picture and a logout button. If we press the logout button we will be logged out and if we press the login button again we will continue to Facebook and provide our authentication and we'll log in again. So this is what we will see in this video how to implement this and in this video I will just show you the basic permissions which will include the username, email, profile picture and all those basic information about user but in the coming videos I'm planning to retrieve the Facebook friends of the user and some other permissions which is a bit challenging so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss such videos in the future and I will also link the source code for this project in the description you don't have to worry about that and without talking too much let's get started with the video and see how we can implement this one okay for this we will be using this flutter Facebook auth and to get started we will create a brand new Flutter project and start from scratch. So here I will copy the package name into the pubspec yaml and clean up the code in the main.dart. Then we can come to the developer.facebook and create a new app. Here you have to provide your display name for the app and your email address and choose the business account type type in your Facebook password and you will be here select Facebook login and then here choose the Android from here we will continue with another page which I will link in the description you can come here and select your app that you have just created then you don't have to download this Facebook SDK because we are using Flutter just copy this into the build.gradle of project level. Make sure it's there. Then copy this implementation in build.gradle of app level. Then down here inside the resources folder, we are going to create a strings.xml which will hold our Facebook app name, key, and all of those stuff. So create an XML file and copy these ones, these XML code, and then we will change these values later on. Then go to the Android manifest, copy these two lines, which actually calls those app ID and client token that we have created in this string.xml. So down here I will paste it as Facebook configs, then copy these activity as well, paste it down here copy the internet permission paste it here also if you're not using Facebook advertisements you have to include this and to use that tools node you have to copy that line above the manifest tag then down here paste your package name and the second one will be package name dot main activity click save and here we have to create release key hash for your app you can download the open SSL tool I will download it for Windows after downloading this you have to extract the zip anywhere that you want then copy this command that I will provide you go to the command prompt paste the command then go to the open SSL bin folder copy the path and paste it in instead of this and also here then you have to copy the debug key store where you can find it is you have to go to the Android your project then Gradle W signing report it will provide all the shows copy the debug path from here and paste it instead of there 
press enter then you have to provide any password you want I will provide Android I recommend doing Android then it will generate the key for you copy the key and then come down here and paste your key then save it and then down here you have to enable this and save it then we are done with the configurations of Facebook we don't touch these things because they are the Android and Java configurations so we will proceed with our flutter so some other configurations in the developer of Facebook you have to come to the basic here you provide your privacy policy we will search for free privacy policy for Facebook I will go to the first website so here you have to put in your app name then your email address then click the generate button it will generate the privacy policy and give you this link you can copy the link and paste it down here here we have to choose the type of our app I will choose education and you can provide your email address display name and everything you can also upload an app icon which will be shown whenever the user is logging in then we save the changes and then we can copy this app ID and paste it in the strings.xml that we have created replace it with this and also paste it in here with the prefix of FB that's important then paste your app name according to here it should be exactly the same and then we can copy the client token by coming to the advanced down below here you can copy the client token then save this file and close it and we don't have anything else to do with Android manifest as well so we can simply close this save this file as well and close it so now we are ready to implement our code and I will start by declaring the variables first variable will be the map of string and dynamic where I will store the user data it will be username email photo and all those stuff then I will have a boolean checking which will be either true or false according to whether the user is logged in or not and in its state I will call a function which will check whether the user is logged in or not for the first time when he runs the application this function will be called and if he is logged in we will get an access token for the user using that access token we can retrieve his data and all the information that he has so I will create an access token variable here and then if access token is not null means he's logged in then I will assign the access token into our variable and then also I will set state and assign the user data which we got using that access token to our user data variable then if he's not logged in I will call another function which redirect the user to login to the Facebook so I will write the code for this login here I will just call facebook.instance.login which pops up the login interface of Facebook then I will get the access token and user data then likewise we can write the logout function and assign the access token and user data to null so in here I will write the interface code here we are with a simple interface code which will show the username email and the profile picture of the user so let's run the application how it looks and you will understand everything now we have been redirected to the login page and if you see that the app is under development you have to come here and press the live button to change from development to live if you get this error you don't have to worry just come to the app review no first you have to go ahead and create a test app of your app you don't have to change the name 
it will be a test app of your real app provide your Facebook password and then don't touch anything here go back to your app and then try your luck again try to go live if still you get this error it's not an error actually you have to come to the app request go to the requests and from here you have to press the request for permission here's uh, where you can request for any type of permission that your app is going to use you can either do it from here or from the app itself then in this page you have to press the live button which will work switch to live mode and uh, we're good to go now our app is in live mode we can go ahead and uh, close this and restart our app I think I have forget some code because uh, we don't get anything here let me check if the checking is false then we will show the circular circular progress indicator so the first thing it will do is check uh, whether we are logged in or not since we are not logged in it will redirect us to the Facebook page and here we go we can provide our Facebook yeah you can see here it is called because uh, users not logged in and it, it is called the login page I will provide my username and password then it will show the app name and icon here to continue with the permissions I will say continue then we will be back to our app with the username email and the icon let me just center the data in column so we have all our data but logout button is not showing because the color is white let me change the color to blue here we go we have the logout if we press the logout it will be login and again we can log in so this is all how we can implement the Facebook authentication in Flutter if you want to check which data we have in user underscore data I mean user data you can get all of them here which will be the email display name photo and photo we have URL width and all those stuff you can try but it depends on which permissions you have provided to user for now we have only the public profile which includes these basic information it is given by default you can also request for many permissions I will show that in coming videos so thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and like and I will see you in the next video